Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Angur. In this episode, we are going to learn about the mutators. So, what is mutators and how to define it and when to use it? All these three sections we will cover in this episode. So, in the last episode about the accessors, we have learned how to use an accessor and what are the benefit of these accessors. Okay, so the scenario in this case is that we have successfully created the function to uppercase the first letter. But you can see that in our database, these things are lowercase. So why not just uppercase all these things before applying to the database? That means if I want to say yet another item, I want that Y is submitted as a capital letter in the database. So after that, there is no need for this capitalization. So how will I do that? So the answer is hidden inside that mutators. So the mutators are the functions which you call before the before saving the data inside your database. How to define these mutators? So again, we have to go to our model and here I will create another function and this time I will say set not get set body attribute and again the value and I will return this attributes and here I will say the body and now I will say uppercase first and the value. So what this statement means that when this function is called the value of that function is uppercase and that uppercase value is assigned to the body attribute of our data. Okay, so we have successfully created the mutator. Let's just uncomment this accessor, go to our to-do list and create a new list and I will say yet another item and hit enter and submit and you can see that yet another item the y is capital here and we have seen that we have already commented the accessor that means this y is not uppercased so let's just go to our database and you can see here this y is capitalized okay so you have seen that mutators are very easy to implement and like accessor these are also beneficial for us okay thanks for watching and if you have any doubt in this episode just feel free to comment me and i will surely respond to your comment and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed and follow me on twitter facebook and instagram and you can also post your questions on these platforms also and share this video with your developer friends and in the next episode we will talk about the CRUD operation in Laravel. So stay tuned and till then just be creative. Bye bye.